like home. So I've done a full LED swap of this game. I still want to try to get a little bit more light on the play field, get a couple of the lighting effects working a little bit better. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to install a light in the apron that sh shows light out here um, onto the flipper space which looks really nice. So let me show you, it's really simple to do and you can have a look at the before and after and see what you think. So with the game off, let's just lift the play field out. Protect the balls. And then what we're going to do so you're going to remove the apron, which is simply done by just taking out these two screws. So you loosen these two. And then the apron comes up. When it comes up, noting over here the these little brackets, and when you install the apron back, you'll see that there's there's a little tongue here which needs to go underneath here on each side. When you just a little tip if you haven't done this before. So apron's out. That's really easy. So the best place to attach the LED strip is here, and then just run the cable round and under and attach it to the GI. I'm going to attach a blue um, LED strip along here. So I've got the LED strip, the blue LED strip. One, two, three, four, five, six LED lights will be sufficient. And you're going to want to place this in here so it casts the light out. Now, but knowing where, you want to get it as far over to the left as you can to get the light coming through. To know where the best place is, you get your apron back, just slip it on lining up where the holes are on where the screws go back in and then with a the sharpie literally just put a tiny little dot so now I know that I can actually go over further than I thought now I need to attach this to any of the um, GI's I'll probably put it onto this one here and run a few cables up I'll show you how I do that and before so before I actually solder this on, what I might actually do is just actually use one cable. So this was something that when I put on earlier for another project, I'm going to desolder these, just unsolder them and then put new wires on um, so I don't have to put a join in the middle which is just messy. So I've got plenty of wire so I'll do that. So I've got one strand of wire going from here down, I'll take it down one of the holes in the play field here. So I've soldered the, the wires on, a single length of wire. Um, the backing of this is it does provide you with some sticking insulation and you need to just check. There's two types of these. One of them have got a nice insulation padding like this and the other one don't. If they don't have a good padding on there, just get some of this 3M tape and use that. This one's sufficient. The idea is otherwise you may get some, if you're attaching it to something metal, you might get some conduction of electricity and therefore get a short. So before I try to stick this on, I'm going to get some methylated spirits, just straight alcohol effectively, a bit of a cloth. Just wipe off any dirt that is where I'm going to be attaching it. It just means you get a much better sticky surf surface on which to attach it to. It may get all sorts of grime and dirt in there over the years and just a good clean means you've got a much better chance of it sticking for a long time. So that's all cleaned up. So then the next thing you need to do um, is stick it on and you want to stick it five or six mils millimeters from the top um, because the, the 
it just gives you a slightly better light. I mean, you can you can go as high as you can if you want. So once it's clean, you want to then attach your 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 strip. So just peel off the, the covering, attach it on. squeezing really tight to get a good secure fit and now it's a matter of feeding this wire through and I'm just going to use a couple of these um, holes in the playfield here often there'll be there'll be places you can feed it through but you just want to try to make sure that it's it's fairly neat when you do it um, I'm going to feed that through there and let's get lift the playfield up and see what it looks like from the bottom. So the wires have come through the playfield. I'll attach those on there with some zip ties and then I'm going to attach the two onto this over here. So let me zoom in for that. So that is the GI for um, the lower part of the play field. I'm going to use this particular one just because this is a simple one that, that's the end of a line. There's only two um, wires coming off of it. A more complex one would be the one next to it where you can see there's multiple lines. Wires coming off of it. This one would be pretty easy. So I find when doing this kind of thing it's always easier to remove the socket than try and do it in situ so so now that I've got this the socket out see if so I use this cool little tool which holds gives me an extra hand grip the light socket with my little handy tool and then I'll just tin each of the the wires quickly doesn't matter which wire it goes on in terms of the, the polarity of it for this particular instance for GI. So once we've turned the wires, put a new blob of solder on here. So I've soldered the wires on now, um, I will just go now about popping these back, so screw the Tuck it back in. Okay. Now we'll just test whether that works. I'm turning on the machine, the GI should fire up. And those that light should you can see that light would cast all the way up onto the motor. So that, that looks pretty good. So it's just a matter of putting back the apron, securing the wires with zip ties, and um, I'll let you know once we're done. So we're going to put the apron back on. So you'll see that these tongues on each side need to slide in. So it's just a matter of putting it down, lining it up, and sliding them underneath these little brackets it's pretty easy to do you can you can even see it on this side and you can hear it and feel it you should be able to lift it up from from this without any of the screws in and then the screws just go in the back here okay let's 
one. The second screw here. Okay, so that's tight, done and dusted. The wires secured, not pinched. There's no short circuit there. That's all pretty good. Now I'll just do the zip ties on the bottom and um, we should be ready to do the final test and gameplay. So you can see it's all nice and tidy now. A couple of zip ties, three in fact. It's always good to make sure that you tidy those all up so that they don't get caught on things. You want to make sure that they don't get attached and then you want to cut the extra zip tie cause or just neatens it up. So now game's on and you can see the difference that it makes when this is on or off. So you can see that's where the, the little LED strip is. So if you look really low down, the strip is fairly high. Um, so you can't see it. And then even from the sides, it's it's not possible to see. But when you're looking at it from above, you get this fantastic glow, which if you put your lights, your GI lights, the same color as the lights you put in that on the apron, you get this fantastic fill. So the light's completely off. And the camera's actually picking up more of a sort of a UV effect than is, I think, the reality. But there's plenty of light now to sit and play. without the lights on so I'm pretty happy about that it's a pretty easy cheap mod all you need to do is make sure that you're using 6 volt and not 12 volt LED strips but once you've got that installed it's a quick easy cheap mod and uh, really does light your game up beautifully to allow you to play it at night if you like this video you can click on the little like button Put some comments in on if you've got any questions and uh, if you find these useful you can always subscribe until next time.